type shit. If it benefit me, but if it don't, like I'm not really gonna follow you back no more. They kind of just kind of like put that on my head. It's more like you don't gotta follow everybody back because I'm so used to showing love to motherfuckers. It's just like that was just me type shit. Right. Like these niggas turn me to a fucking asshole. I gotta be rude. So it's like. So how long you been doing music? My sophomore year in high school, bro, it's like, I got really into this shit more like my senior year, but I kind of like only really started doing music because everybody else was doing it like my sophomore year. Niggas was dropping shit, but they shit suck. So I was just like, I feel like if I drop like a rap song, this shit's gonna pop. So I like, so you always knew you could sing or you were just like some shit you was like fucking around with? Yeah, it yo. was like, when I was little, I used to sing like old school songs like, uh, like, more about like I don't know. It was like time's gonna come, like shit, like shit, like I don't know. I seem like a real old shit, and so like growing up, my voice started developing to like this real like low mellow type shit. So I kind of got into that type of style of singing, and really it was just like I'm basic as fuck. Like I'm simple. I'm not gonna be on stage singing my heart out and fucking dancing in front of everybody. I'm not doing it. Like I wanna yeah. go on stage pajamas. Be chilling. Everybody in my concert is smoking weed. We just never like bobbing. So just, like, who, like who you take like your your like who like is your style? Like who is somebody that you model your style after? Cause I get a lot of like Chance the Rapper, Erica Badu ish. Yeah. Like you know, it's like Erica uh, Badu mixed with the old SZA when SZA was on fucking SoundCloud, and then it was like, it's more like Schoolboy Q. Um, Wiz Khalifa, I fuck with ASAP, I only fuck with ASAP because of the grills, like, I love yeah. that shit. And it's like, he a jiggy ass nigga, but it's like, the ASAP now, I really don't kind of pay attention to him like I used to when he was on, like, Everybody Loves Purple type shit. Because they only, they said like, this thing called Keep It Trill, mm -hmm. so, like, I got Trill tatted on my ankle in purple ink, because I just love, like, I don't know, I fuck with Houston Heavy. I fuck with that whole, like, chopped yeah. and screw shit, so it's just like, that's really what I fell into. So, like, where are you from? And, like, you from the DFW? Like, where are you actually from? Born? Grand Prairie. Grand Prairie, all that shit. It's just, I'm not, I'm not from Arlington. I kind of, like, I don't know. I don't be liking people be saying, like, female artists out of Arlington. It kind of, like, make me mad because it's, like, damn, like, I feel like everybody in Arlington already had they shine. So, it's just, like, yeah. why can't I give Grand Prairie or Dallas, like, they shine with me type shit. So, I kind of don't want to be, like, branded into Arlington because, like, when I hear Arlington, I think about rap. Um, yeah. I mean, I can, but like that shit not my. It's not something that I do. So, the song that you got out right now, buzzing this love song. Like, how long? I fucking hate this song. when I when I first when I first heard you, that was like one of the first songs. Matter of fact, when I first seen you, your page. I don't even know. You know, I got to put yourself on page. Yeah. I don't even know how, who, how you was. I was following you. But I seen you perform, okay. you were singing live. On a box right now. Yeah, like, like, um, how long ago was you, did you do the love song? Then I heard the love song, like, so how long ago did, did that drop? Love song was dropped. Shit, I think I dropped that, like, last year. Like, I dropped love songs in, like, I think, October, December. It was one of them songs. Like, I dropped love songs, but at the same time, it was like, it was a weird ass transition. It was kind of like October, my mama got into it. I graduated from high school. I threw this live ass party. And it was like the day after I threw that home, me and my mama got into it. I did from the house. So I, when I did from the house and I came back, it was more like, I don't know, I just felt like it was just like this weird ass energy. It was kind of like my music, like my views and shit was going up, my place was going up. And then it was like, I had this one dream and like my fucking music got deleted. Two days later, my music got deleted. I was sound like my mama deleted the shit. And so it was just like, I was like, damn, how the fuck I'm gonna get this whole running back up? And when I got it up, it was like, my views were like, they were crazy. And it's like, people just started showing me more love. And it's like, when I had this whole big fan base and I was kind of like confused. It was like, damn, like where the fuck was all this love when I was in high school? Yeah. And it's like, now everybody's showing me love and treating me like I'm a celebrity, you know what I'm not. So like, when you did the, when you did the party, mm -hmm. Like, you had already, did you perform at the party? Or was it yeah, just like, like? it was really like, I didn't perform love songs. I performed this like little live song I had called Geek Than a Bitch. And I just said her and everybody was just real loaded. And it was kind of like, that's probably the liveest part I've ever done in my life. I, I mean, uh, like two racks out there. So, like, <laughs> recently I, I, I came to one of your shows, like a couple weeks ago or whatever. Yeah, and you did the live performance. 
Yeah, you did a lot. Do you prefer performing live? Thanks. Rather than like anything else? Like, or do you get nervous or? I mean, I still tend to get nervous with my anxiety, but at the same time, I feel like I'd be more nervous if I wasn't performing with my band. Cause more of all, I always want to be in the group. Mm -hmm. So it was more like when I'm on stage with my band, I feel everybody's energy, the energy is live. And on top of that, should I smoke? So like mm -hmm. my voice be changing. So it's like, if I can get on stage and make this song sound better than what it already was type shit for my band, mm -hmm. it's, it's raw. Like it's just genuine. So it's just like, I just love performing like live. I've always did that. So what's like your, like your dream show? Like Coachella, Rolling Loud. Can't vlog no. And Coachella. Ken Flognog is like Tyler the Creator, SZA, Erica, it's like everybody that a vibey ass artist, they all come to this little thing in California and it's like it's hella, hella, like hella weed and just performing. Coachella, I want to do that hoe, but I feel like that hoe's like a rave. I feel mm -hmm. like hella artists be at that hoe and it be so many fucking drugs, but I still want to fuck with that. Have you, have you ever performed like super high or like do you have to be like? Yeah, my first show, my first show ever I performed off lean. I was hot as shit on the stage. <laughs> I got damn near like passed out. Like I had wear my orange sweater and I should have took the hell off. Like the it was dope. Like literally it was crazy because after the show, this always happens. After the shows, everybody always leaves. Like they'll come to me and be like, bro, like you go so fucking hard. Da -da -da. Bro, I just came to see you. Like it's just so many, like it's different type of people like just come up to me and they'll just leave right after the show. And mm -hmm. it was crazy because like as soon as I got on stage, everybody like went to the front. Everybody was already separated. When I got to know, everybody went to the front and just showed me mad love. I was on that hoe dying, but shit, I did what I had to do. Like, that lean had me throw it. I'm not going to hold you. So, uh, just speaking of the orange, orange sweater joint, mm -hmm. like, you have a song called Orange Sweater. Yeah. And it's like, that's one, that's one of my favorite joints just because I feel like, I feel like um, it's monumental. I feel like this could be something like, not like the song is better than any of the other songs. Yeah, it's more like catchy. Yeah, it's, it's just one of those things. Like, explain the song and like, what do you mean by the orange sweater? My first time recording the orange sweater was at my friend Trailer House. And uh, really, I just, it's just my orange sweater. I'm always wearing this whole every single smoke session. So it was just like, fuck, like this whole must mean something to me. It got my favorite, like lucky number on his seven. And I would just sit at the um, Trailer House and I had wrote it. I was like, I got an orange sweater, I wear it like whenever. And everybody was like, ooh, that hoe go hard. Then I was like, shit, let's record it. And we just got on it. And I was just like, this hoe go hard. But at first, I used to hate orange sweater. It's because I hated how I sounded, but everybody else loved it. And it's like, every single song I hate, everybody else loves. Yeah. So it kind of like grew on me. Like, because I didn't used to play it for people. I used to be like, oh, yeah, I got D&D. &D. Just listen to this hoe. They'd be like, bro, no, I fuck with orange sweater. I'm like, uh, like I'm not going to play that. Like, I don't know. I feel like that's everybody, like, every artist is their own, like, biggest critic. Yeah. So, just, like, I'm real hard on myself when it comes to music. So, when you was, uh, you had just said that you, you ran away from home, like, what were some of the things that you took with you when you left? Like, when you ran away from the crib, what was something that you, you took, like, you had to have? <laughs> what I had to have was that. <laughs> like, that would just bring me, like, luck, and that would just bring me, like, peace. And really, it was more like... When I ran away, I was free, so I got this tattoo or whatever, and it just like signified the fact that I'm I'm free, cause I know I couldn't get this out when I was in the crib. Mm -hmm. I'm tatted and everything, but at the same time, I'm like I have so you know how parents is with that, they be like, yeah, like why are you getting tattooed? You can't get no job, but in our generation now, it's like you can get whatever you want to. So really, what I took with me was really just shit, my talent, cause I ain't had no damn phone. So just like <laughs> I was just out and about, and I was in commerce, and I was everywhere. And I was just like, this is my journey now. Like, this is something I got to do. And I used to listen to Joey Badass every day. It was him and O3 Greedo. I was listening to Joey Badass and O3 Greedo. And I had, uh, I was about to, I was writing a song to his beat, Waves or whatever. It was like this instrumental. And I was just on it, like just rapping about my life. Because I'm really into cyphers and like old school shit. So it was just like, I was just now just vibing. I was ready to live that lifestyle of just, you know, traveling everywhere and just, you know. Shit, I was 17. So it was like, I had to move on regardless. Yeah. Like, shit, like, my mom was about to send a fucking Amber out, like, oh, like, Amber alert out on me and shit. Like, so how, how was, uh, how were you in school? Like, <laughs> you said you graduated early, so that means you yeah. must have been, like, a, you know, like, was you a, a straight-A student? Or did you get everything done? Or was yeah, just like... <laughs> like, in school, I was smart. It's just the fact that I just didn't. 
put in my effort because I didn't really fuck with school like that. But when it got to my junior year, I think that's when I stopped caring. I would hang around these like this group of friends and we had this group chat called the Breakfast Club. We used to get high twenty four seven, getting high as fuck. I'm going to CC's, come back to class, like literally just chilling, staring at the periodic table because I'm so fucking stoned. And it was just like I had the coolest teacher, so they didn't care. It was like my teachers was real cool. I remember one time I had this exam, I didn't want to do that. Huh? My teacher was like, you give me an edible, you don't even got to do that. Huh? Damn. Like, shit, fuck it. Escaping that. Huh? And I was just like, shit, like I passed and I had like some cool ass um, lieutenant ladies. Like I'll be absent, they'll mark me present because like the school fucked with me. It was just always like showing love. My senior year was just like, I don't want to go to that school no more. I got into a fight. I was like, I don't even want to go to that home no more. Like, it's just, it's messy. Like, I want to get away from everybody. I want to be on a whole different path. And that's just me now. Like, I don't plan on going to prom, nigga. Like, I plan on throwing the after prom party because my name going to be so up. I'm making money off y'all little niggas. I used to clown me. Like, yeah. y'all paying me hella money. So that's really my way. So, so what's what's the what's the uh, what you got new coming up? Like, what's some of the goals for 2019? Because we are we in March right now, pretty much. Yeah, like he, the goals is really just have fun with this music shit. It's just like keep this content going and keep excelling because I know I'm gonna be great. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm something right now, but y'all niggas don't even know what I'm gonna be like at all. <laughs> I'm gonna go so crazy. Okay, so like, if you had to choose one artist. To, to do to collab with who's who's that artist? One artist. Dead or alive, whatever. Um, damn, would I collab with? That really put me on the spot. I probably want to collab with Frank Ocean. Damn. We the same type of person. Like that nigga not dropping nothing. People be on his ass twenty four seven for not dropping no music, but they love him. Everybody love Frank Ocean. They forever gonna show love to Frank Ocean because he's Frank Ocean. He would show up to a whole ass like billboards and be wearing a shirt and some jeans <laughs> and just be there like everybody loves Frank Ocean he don't care him and Earl Swiss shirt like, yeah, I love fuck, artists like that yeah fuck with Earl well, alright man we gonna get up out of here this cash page for sure you know what I'm saying <laughs> yeah